But here we go again. First, a prison break in Venezuela where the Tren de Aragua, that criminal, just criminal violent gang, ends up here in the United States through the border and committing crimes in New York, and you already heard all the stories. But now, out of nowhere, yesterday, a prison break in Haiti where somehow their president so happens to not be in town. Uh, some uh, criminal gangs break in the prison, take prisoners out, and now the country is in chaos. I wonder where all those criminals are going to end up at. Not only that, remember, keyword there, the country's in chaos, meaning mm, asylum right through the border, open borders. Wonder if they're going to end up here. Wonder if that's the next news we're going to start hearing. By the way, I can tell you where they're not going to end up at. They're not going to end up in Dominican Republic. Dominicans, they ain't that nice. They don't play like that with this crap. They're not as giving as American people are. They're not going to end up in the Dominican Republic. They're going to end up here. Watch, mark my words. Watch this video. According to a CNN report from Border Patrol, 38 suspected members from the Tren de Aragua have been arrested. Haiti's government has imposed a state of emergency and a curfew amidst surging gang violence. Bortac units shot and killed a criminal migrant in a remote part of San Diego's sector. And a deadly gang assault. The fastest growing transnational criminal organization that has now infiltrated its way into the United States through various sectors of the U.S.-Mexico border. U.S. Embassy in Haiti is urging citizens to leave the country or the capital's main prison that allowed thousands of inmates to escape. We're getting gang members from Venezuela. We're getting MS-13. I think some countries are actually emptying their prisons onto the United States. And they, they come from lawless places. They have no respect for the, the rule of law, police, or authorities. And they pretty much do whatever they please. They live in an underground society. Migrants are criminal convictions, uh, convictions apprehended by... So I wonder who's been saying that the entire time. They do not follow the law. They do not have the same principles as Americans do. They do not live by the same rules. And just like in the 80s, when Cuba decided to empty all those prisons over here through Miami, um, that's what's happening. Haiti? Oh, the president disappears out of nowhere. Now there's a prison break. I wonder where those criminals are going to end up at. Same thing with... Uh, Ecuador, same thing with all those countries, all those third world countries, all those asshole countries just emptying their prisons right over here. Uh, uh, Border Patrol, there's been over 6,000 of them. The other thing I say to President Biden, close the borders now. Close the borders now. You can do that. You do not need the involvement from anybody. You can do that through executive order there, President Biden, but you will not. You know why I know you will not? Because it doesn't matter. The American people don't matter. What matters is that you win, that there is enough chaos in this country for the Democratic Party to stay in power forever why because 65 percent of most these of most of these illegal immigrants will continue to vote for you because they come here and they're going to vote for you because you give them things you give them handouts why would they not vote for you it is incredible how this country is being destroyed from within and every day is getting worse I make these videos to inform you, but many of you, what you say is, I sound scared. Do I come across as scared to you? I come from these countries. Uh, what I'm afraid of, and maybe sure I'll use that word, scared, is that when they come here, the same grit that the men have in the countries that I'm coming from, like Dominican Republic, that's why I said they won't go over there. This grit, you men here are losing it. You don't have it. You're too busy with your TikToks and your Instagrams. You don't have the cojones that it's going to take to take your country back. So that's what I'm worried. You want to use that word scare? Sure. Not for me, but for my kids, for my grandchildren, for my wife. This country is going to shit in a handbasket and uh, very little is being done. And all you liberals do is hate on people trying to give you this information, trying to give you the information you can protect yourself. You're pathetic. Let's keep watching. 
border just this week, four illegal immigrants have been accused of separate violent crimes. In Maryland, a 25-year-old illegal Salvadoran migrant was arrested in connection with the shooting and killing of a two-year-old child. In Virginia, a Venezuelan migrant charged with sexually assaulting a 14-year-old girl. In Louisiana, a Honduran migrant was One after the other, after the other, after the other. A 14-year-old and stabbing a man during a robbery. American people, we are in a very dangerous intersection right now in this country. Georgia came together to say good things and to say goodbye to 22-year-old Lake and Hope Riley. It is so obvious to me why I feel so dark right now, and that is because we lost one of the brightest lights that there's ever been. So some Democrats and the media trying to portray the horrific murder of young Lake and Riley by an illegal immigrant as just one instance that Republicans... By the way, if you appreciate this video, if you would like to show your support, just like, share this video, and subscribe. It'll help the algorithm to spread this word. Um, it's going to take more of us to inform this. I come again with experience from these places. Place that I've lived the longest, of course, because that's where I'm from. It's the Dominican Republic. Uh, crime over there is also rampant. It's also brutal. Uh, but, you know, that's within the country. They do not allow much crime to come from other countries there. They don't play that game. For those of you who say, oh, but what about the crime that Americans commit? How are we only talking about the crimes that now criminal immigrants commit? Listen, what an ignorant statement. There is crime in every country. There is local crime. There is crimes from people who belong in that country. Just because they belong in that country doesn't mean they're not criminals, but they belong in that country. Also, there is IDs, there's a way to trace those people, there's a way to make them pay for their crimes. How are you going to make uh, these illegal immigrants pay for their crimes? Out of the border, they let go of all the documentation, so you can't trace them. You can't. They're infiltrating from within, there's no way to find them. Oh, but uh, we're exaggerating the problem. And again, just because Americans that belong here commit crimes obviously that's not nice but just because of that makes the criminal illegal immigrants committing crimes not that much worse we shouldn't talk about those because adding to the problem solves the problem you idiots Republicans are seizing on but it's not true there are many terrifying cases that are adding up across the country we're getting gang members from Venezuela. We're getting MS-13. I think some countries are actually emptying their prisons like Castro did like in 1980 yep. onto the United States. And they, they come from lawless places. They have no respect for the, the rule of law or, or, or police or authorities. And they pretty much do whatever they please. They live in an underground society. That alone, you know, is, is a criminal act. I mean, everything's black market. So, you know, criminals, spies, uh, uh, terrorists. And we, we just, it's a self-inflicted wound on this country. The mayor of Athens, Clark County, Kelly Gertz, knows this, but held a press conference and lied to his people's faces. The Storm Sanctuary City doesn't have a sole legal or procedural definition. Liar. So many of the elements, Liar. Liar. time for Liar. questions. You're a guilty You know, we know that there's a lot of evil stuff happening right now in this country, right? We get it. Uh, this is not just a physical, but it's also a spiritual war going on in this country. Um, and uh, we can only pray to God to protect us and continue to give us the strength to do what is right. We understand that this country is getting broken from within. It's about destroying the nuclear family, destroying the Christian Judeo values that this nation is based on. I understand all of that. But when you have men like this, when you have men like this straight up saying that Lake and Riley's death has nothing to do with illegal immigration, these men should be put to a short drop and a sudden stop for treason to this country. We need to start getting more upset about this, getting together, making the phone calls and doing the gatherings. I'm not going to say that name, but doing the street gatherings until we kick all these idiots out going to continue to make these videos just to do quick summaries on these events because I know that we all have busy lives but as we are having busy lives this country is being destroyed from within and it's being taken away from us so I'm going to continue to do my part. God bless us all.